Trump and Rogan spoke. Yeah, is this the, the one that it, which which clip is this, Rob? This was your original appearance on. Oh, Joe this Rogan. was. I love this one, Pat. This right. is, oh, you guys oh, talk about this having is the prediction. I was there. So, so when are you having Trump on? I don't know. Okay, you're, the look. I don't know. Maybe. Looks like you got something. Maybe. Okay, good. That's good. I think that's. Uh, I look, at a certain point in time, it's just like. It would be interesting to hear his perspective on a lot of things. I would like to know what is it like when you actually get into office. I would like to know things like what what is it like versus perception. Yeah. What is it actually like when you get in that building? Like what 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 are you greeted with? So when do you know that people good. are fucking with you? By the way, you can't. When do you know that the uh, FYI? Let, 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 and I and I told him this. I said, just so you know, if you don't think you need to be sitting down with Trump, the episode that I sold you to the best of my abilities, where he thought, I'm like, don't even go live with the video that you and I spoke about you and everyone Trump. I said, you know what number it was? I said, go look at it. You know what number it was? It was episode 2016. No. Huh. I, go, go do this, Rob. Type in, go to Spotify, type in Bet David and, and um, Bet David Rogan. and Rogan. Okay, let's see if it comes up. Uh, uh, okay, then maybe just go, to, uh, you have well. Can you put Bed David together? Because that looks like just put Bed David together. Yeah, don't put a space. Go there. Uh, okay, then just take that and go to Google. Maybe it's harder on Spotify. Search engine doesn't work. Go put it on Google and type in. Go to images. Yes, go to images. Go to images, Rob. Uh, that's the first one we did. Right there. What number? Look at that. <laughs> Two thousand sixteen. What are the chances of the episode that we talk about Trump? Sometimes God's going to whisper to you in the most unique way. Mm -hmm. He's going to say, hey, Boom. this is episode 2016. Wow. You got to talk to this guy. So now Trump is being asked on, Rob, if I'm not mistaken, on Nelk, Nelk, Nelk Boys, which by the way, Kyle, Kyle's going to do something. This he's, guy, he's got something very attractive about himself. They're crew, Steiny, all these guys. I just like these guys. Go on and play this clip. You're doing a lot of podcasts recently. One that I would love to see you on is, I think Joe Rogan has to have you on. Yeah. Yeah. Would would you do that? Oh, sure I would. I think Joe, like, besides I, us, Joe's... I mean, I think I'm doing it, actually. Yeah? yeah so oh, you are going to do Joe Rogan? Yeah, I am. Joe Rogan's the best in the game, for sure. And I think, yeah. you know... Did Joe having... become so well-known because of the UFC? And he, he does a great job with that, right? What I was mean, it that made Joe the best? During COVID, you know, he was very outspoken on all the corruption yeah. going on during COVID. And I think that's personally when I started watching him a lot too. Oh. And just he's an honest guy too, right? He is. So I think good guy, good guy. And I think no, you guys together guy. would just. And he's be, got a good voice. That's important. <clears throat> yeah, you're doing a lot of podcasts recently. Right there, right. And he said UFC too. He's like the UFC. He's so. By the way, if it happens, don't you owe these guys money? I, yeah, no, I'll, I'll owe Vidi money. Well, I, owe, I owe. Listen. Let's just clarify, quick clarify. Has he paid all, his debt, hold by on. the way? He all already, debts are going to be paid. Listen to me. Listen uh, to me. Uh, we're going to turn this into a joke. All debts are going to be paid on the election, day of, in front of everybody. Okay. Whoever it is. Well, you know is the, everyone okay with that? But you have the tally? Mine's going to be... I would actually it? like okay. to give you $500 because so I would like to see... see that, that's where you're wrong. Trump, it's 600 Trump, because it's okay. Listen, it's one hundred. Oh, by the way, but, but what was the bet? No. The bet was he said it'll never happen. You I said, said it's gonna I don't think it's it gonna happen. Fi five hundred. That it's, I said yeah. it's gonna happen, and then I bet one hundred. He wanted I to do more. Him a thousand. That Biden was gonna be the presidential you know, wait, wait, nominee. Listen, it takes th money to make money, it's guys. Funny. You know, Adam, it's funny. The American in you knows you owe me a thousand dollars, and yes. you admit it. The Jewish guy in you won't let you pay it. <laughs> so I'm just kind of wishing that maybe. <laughs> Uh, you can always count on Tom for a nice Jewish joke. <laughs> Thanks, you, buddy. Um, but I remember being in the Joe Rogan experience when Pat, Vinny, you'll remember this. Yeah. You were there. You were nice enough to take Vinny and I on this trip. You were sitting. You, you, he, Joe gave us this awesome tour of this ridiculous studio with the shooting and the thing and the workout and the big American flag. And then all of a sudden, Joe goes, let's go, Pat. You go in that room. And Vinny and I are sitting there with this security team, basically, like yeah. three Navy SEALs, Green Berets, Great absolute guys. studs. Yeah, awesome. And we're sitting there, and Pat, we hear him go, so when are you going to have Rogan on? And everyone when just starts looking. When are you going to have, Trump on? You gonna have Trump on? Sorry. To Rogan, when are you going to have Trump on? Everyone's like, what? What's going on here? The guys were all in, because they've seen so many conversations. They've seen so many interesting people come in and out. This was a situation, they were like, whoa. Now they're engaged, we're engaged. Joe Rogan was like, what? what? Did he put you up to this? What was that? 
Yeah. yeah. That was August. It's so funny because. Early August. So almost a little was over it, a year ago. Was it early? I don't yes. know when it was. It Was it early August? August 2nd, 2023. Okay. So there you go. Well, anyways, uh, I can tell you, I can't wait for it. And I'll, I'll, I'm looking forward to watching it, them two together. I think mm-hmm. it's going to be a very unique conversation. Uh, yesterday, we had uh, Graham Hancock here, who just flew in from Austin. And great name. I told him he's got a Hollywood name. And mm-hmm. he, he said, Joe is one of the greatest conversationalists of all time. And I think it's, it's absolutely hard to disagree with that. This guy is one of a kind. And you can have 20 different people... There's certain people in the marketplace that you know how they're going to interview. You just know how they're going to interview. It's like, okay, that's a chat GBT interview. That's an interview that's going to be silly. This is an interview that's going to be lightweight. Then you're going to be like, I'm looking forward to Trump talking to him. I'm looking forward to him talking to him. And I'm mm-hmm. looking forward to him talking to Joe. I can't wait to see that conversation take place, which is going to be exciting. We'll be all tuning in. Chances at this point that it's happening. What are the odds? Him and, him, and, him and Joe? Trump. And oh, Rogan. let me, let me, let me, no, 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 let me. Musk said it's going to happen. Trump said it's going to happen. If Joe doesn't do it, he will have a lot of backlash on how it'll happen. I don't think it's going to happen. I agree with 99% you. 99% so chance you're it there happens. there 99? I'm, 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 oh, you? I'm, at, I'm, at, I'm at 99 too. But my, yeah. my question to you, Pat, because you, you mentioned it. How, I know this is a rumor from Reuters, but com, if com, let me explain something to you. If, if for some way, What's reason, rumor? Kamala saying? going on Joe Rogan. Oh, I don't see that lim- happening lim- and, at all. And lim- lim- well, I'm saying Kamala will get the rumors are explosive, but you know what? She might have special earrings. She might have a neural link on. I don't she care might have she's a, got earrings, she might headsets. Have, she might have hey, walkie talks. J.D. Vance up. talked about her earrings. J.D. Vance even talked about her earrings to Sage uh, Steele. Every, he was like, yeah, maybe she has thought earrings. that me and Vinny were out there on Mars or something about those earrings. People are talking about it. How many views do you think it gets if it does? Over or under ten million within the oh, first oh, within the first couple of weeks. No, oh. no, no, no. It's it's going to be over ten. And the only so. re- and the only reason he won't hit the fifty million mark is because he's been doing a lot of them lately. That's my point. So the market is on it's overdrive. Yeah. So that's the only thing. But again, will there be a clip that could go? Mm-hmm. Yes. Could there be a clip that goes viral? Yeah. Is this the earring thing? Yeah. yeah. Go weird. ahead and play this. Tom's going to like this. I did want to point That's this right. out. Um, J.D. Vance has no idea what these questions are, what the topics are. <laughs> no Sage idea. We didn't tell him beforehand. There's nobody in his ear, no cute earrings, There's nothing, yep. nothing like that. <laughs> so I'm just reminding everybody <laughs> that this is all organic, okay? I, I left my Bluetooth earrings at home, so. <laughs> that is hilarious. I think it's a joke. All right. I mean, Sage, joke, Sage set it up. Yeah, but but my point, my point being, Pat, there's absolutely. I'm, I'm going to your oh, point. You're saying that she won't do it, or or, or Rogan no, no, won't. No, I'm saying. Oh, Rogan would drool to have that. What I'm saying is, do you think right. Kamala? Hold on, raw dog, meaning no earphones, raw no, dog, no, yeah. no, no, no assistance, no nobody. You actually said raw dog. Raw dog. Yeah. Well, I, you know, I'm, I'm old school. So, I, <laughs> but wait, if they sit there together, PBD would no, no assistance because you're not, you're not going to be in that room. And with by them. the way, the story, the story says, the Reuters story says, and yeah. the rumor mill. I'm not telling you it's true or not. The rumor mill is they asked. Him to send questions, and Joe's team said, this is a podcast. This is not an interview. Great. So that's mm-hmm. the thing. When you're doing these types of things, and anytime people ask me for questions, I'm like, what do we, like, it's a conversation. Yeah. You know, I can't believe you're just, I said, I said we're having a conversation. So he's not going to, he's not going to agree to send a list of questions. Period. Not at this phase. Well, you know what it does tell you? Here's what it tells you. She's about to go on Brett Bear to do Fox. Yes. Okay. And by the way, Brett, if Brett does to her what she did to Trump, it's going to be a very good interview. Remember what he did with Trump when he said, here's what all your former swamp people said. Here's what he said about you. Mm-hmm. Here's what he said about you. Here's what she said. And he went on for two minutes. And it was a tough interview that Brett Bear did. Yeah. He's not a guy that's going to do a lightweight interview. If Brett's really not going to take the questions that say they sent and he's going to do a raw dog type of interview that you're talking about. <laughs> if that's what's going to be the case, great. It, it'll be good. But for her to go to Rogan and do it, it's because they're desperate and they're behind the eight ball. It's that simple. I think that's the big you, but, angle there, Pat. They are desperate and they are behind the eight ball. But every one of her media um, encounters has been managed. These are managed media encounters. If you want the interview on your network... 
to get your views, and yes, I want the publicity, but if you want that to get your ad dollars, then you will cooperate, and these will be the questions, or we'll never be here again. They do this with actors and actresses when they go on The Tonight Show talking about a movie, um, a movie and they say, do not talk about my recent divorce. Yeah. We won't come on here again, and the studio says, we will boycott you, Jimmy Kimmel. There's other places we can go. So that happens all the time. She is living in a managed world, and walking over into the podcast, or into the unscripted sit down, you know, across the glass table that they do on CNN mm -hmm. and they do on Fox very effectively. You know, if Fox agrees to it and Brett seems subdued, I will lose a lot of respect for Fox because it means that they chose the ad dollars and maybe they went along with a certain amount uh, of questions and they said, but we can put this question, that question. But she's been living in a managed world. And if she walks over into an unscripted yep. world, it's death. Well, well, here's some numbers for you real quick because I said this the other day. I said, by the way, every time she talks, her numbers go down. She's been on this media tour between Howard Stern, between Call Her Daddy, between The View, and her numbers in September, she was up 49-44. Don't look now, fourth quarter, October here, and it's basically a tie ball game, and Trump is now the favorite. A month ago, she was the favorite. You know, she got the sugar high with all that. But every time she's talking, that people start to learn more about her, they're like, yeah, I don't think she's very qualified for this, regardless of how you feel about Trump. I get it. There's a personality issue there. But the, the, the difference is he at least has more of a policy perspective than she has, according to what you're seeing out there. But he, because her numbers are going down so much, here's the point. He has Obama go out there. And what didn't work with Obama with black men? Here's some stats for you. So- he Lecturing. tried to chastise them. It didn't work. He tried to lecture them. It didn't work. He tried to shame them. It didn't work. And now, follow the money. They're trying to bribe black men with three weeks to go with the election. Have you seen what these numbers are? They're basically saying, all right, we're going to give black men specifically $1 million of forgivable business loans. If you're an entrepreneur and you want to no, start no, no, a business. No, no, I think it was $20,000 of forgivable business $1 loans. $1 million of forgivable business loans. Check it. Because it's the opportunity. Tom. There it is right there, Tom. You just got fact check. Boom. Um, because it's the opportunity economy. It's one million for forgivable loans, not Matt. one million dollars or twenty thousand dollar <laughs> loans. That's what I said. But there's Tom. a million of them. You anyway, just got re fact check, I just homie. Got <laughs> the point is they're trying to black to bam, 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 bam. they're trying to um <laughs> Tom, thank you. They're trying to bribe <laughs> black men. Here's I'll another be thing. Over here doing. if you need me. They're regulating crypto. Yeah, they're promoting black men as teachers. By the way, the seventy-five percent of, of teachers are women. And then here's the crew de gras. They're now all of a sudden, she's supporting legalizing marijuana. Isn't she the person that was basically notorious yeah, for yeah. locking up black well, men? Well, seventeen California? states are ahead so, of you, Kamala. There's three weeks left, and if you're a black man in America, you're like, all right. You're trying to tell me that it took three weeks before the election to actually give a shit about us. And the numbers actually aren't helping about them because for black women, Kamala is up 83 uh, yeah. to 11. For black men, she's up 68 to 24, meaning Trump has 24% of the black male vote, whereas he only has 11%. So there's a clear gender divide, whether it's white, whether it's black. In the whites, uh, Trump, as far as men, overall up 16 Kamala's up 14. This 30-point swing total overall is the highest ever on record. I, if you I, want to find something I, in this election, it's really men versus women. It's childless cat ladies versus the working men. I think the African-American, if you're going to say it like Trump, African-American, th those numbers, bro, I've, I've fe I'm seeing it from friends that I know and just the vibe from all the videos from everybody, that number is, is I, think it's, I think it's off. I think there's more people that are waking up and not buying into that BS Barack Obama who came in with, yes, we can, and change, and didn't do nothing. He played that whole race card like he was going to be the savior. Remember, people, Pat, would come on and be like, he's gonna, women were crying on, on, on uh, election day, inauguration, when they're like, he's going to pay my rent. He's going to, didn't do any of that. My question to you is, Pat, I know we want to move on. The Brett Bear Fox thing. Do you think they're going to, uh, some way, somehow, either give her the questions? Because ABC whistleblower said, I know the ABC's left, but they gave her all the questions and, you know, blah, blah, blah. blah. They have to be some type of, like, game that they're going to have to play. It, it depends. And here's what I mean by it depends. Okay. And, Tom, I'm going to hear your thoughts on this as well. By the way, uh, both of you guys are right. It's $1 million fully forgivable loans of up to $20,000. So it's not a $1 million forgivable loan. It's $1 million 
twenty thousand, which ends up becoming I stand correct, which so ends up becoming bad. twenty billion dollars. It's a lot of money. So, anyway, the point is, uh, no, you're right. But let me go back to it. Let no, me it's go a back. big bribe. You're yeah. right about the bribes. Let me go back to it. So, to me, the reason why it could be different, a Brett Bear interview, if Brett is reaching out to Kamala, mm-hmm. they say, "Send us your questions." Hmm. But if Kamala's reaching out to Brett, Brett says. I'll do without any questions. Uh-huh. So who called who? That's, a, I don't that's what it's about. That's the question. So if tr- if if she wants to be on Rogan, Rogan ain't sending no questions Hell to no. you. Hell no. Not at all. Hell no. But it's at a point right now that I think she needs to go everywhere. because Everywhere. And I'm telling you, everywhere. She needs to go everywhere. If she doesn't, she will not win the way the numbers are looking today. For those of you guys that are coming to the Alex Schneid party, a couple of the ticketeers are about to sell out. We've sold almost 1,000 tickets. They're moving left and right. People are picking it up. We're excited about having you guys that night. But here's what I wanted to share with you today, which is the big news. This is the big news. I have all these polos I buy, hmm. all these brands, Brioni. You know, you go by, I'm going to buy this Ferragamo. I'm going to go buy this. And then a week later, I take it to the dry cleaners. Boom, the collar goes like like this. I can't stand it. I'm paying seven, dollars $800 for this stuff. So I go to a Yankees game. Mm-hmm. We're at the box yep. upstairs. I see this Yankees shirt. I am like, this is sick. I'm not even kidding with you. We bought three of them. The reason why we bought three of them, because one of them, I sat on a candle. It burned. I don't want to get into that story. I have to buy two more, but I'm telling you too much story. I came back and I said, I want this. And I went to Chris and I went to Ben. I said, guys, I want this except for Vitamin. And I want the callers to stay like this. I don't want it to come down. So guess what we have now? These sold out at the Vault Conference. Within seconds, they sold out. They're now here. The future looks bright. Polo, high quality, all custom, by the way. Valuetainment logo on the back of it, it says future looks bright. We have different colors, Rob. If you're on it right now, we have the black, the gray, the blue. You pick and choose different sizes. The material. It's, it's like it's, air. It's like air. Just look how it dances. Watch this. It's a here. dancing. Watch dancing this here. Queen. I wear these three times mm. a day. The only reason I'm wearing this today is because I'm doing a video ad later on. But if you are somebody that loves Valuetainment, you sport our gear, and you want to go out there and wear it at work, and you want to look professional, go order the latest Future looks bright polo that came in. By the way, this will sell out in absolutely no time. And then you're going to be left having to order a size medium while you're an extra large. <laughs> medium. And it's not going to be a good look because that's what Adam does. Adam <laughs> always goes looking for mediums. But So if you like this clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.